what are some of your most favorite, some of those beautiful shots in the horror genre, in your opinion? I mean, the big standout is... Going, we don't need I'm going to start off with this. There's a famous story uh, from the set of The Shining that I love, which is they didn't tell the young boy playing Danny that it was a horror film. I think they told him it was a thriller because they wanted to kind of protect him. He was a young boy. You can't really hide what this movie is from these kids. So for some of the younger kids in the film, what do you need to tell them to prepare them for some of the things that they're going to face while filming this? I think that um, it starts with just casting the very best kids, the best people that you can. And we got really lucky with our cast. We um, we uh, we found uh, our young girl Sophie, uh, Caitlin Rose Downey from uh, she was from Ireland. We were we did we basically cast all over Europe, and um, the movie's set in France. So there was a little bit of like uh, kind of we we kind of decided to kind of tweak her character uh, to to be Irish, um, but the uh we really lucked out with the casting both with her and then all of the uh the other girls who were uh, french locals and um it was you know you start with just treating them like adults i think that that's the the, the best thing is you just have a conversation with them about what the uh, the film's about and um you know the funny thing is that as scary as these movies are they also have such a incredible fan base and you know some of these girls like they've, they've seen the contrary movies. They're like, they are so excited to be a part of it. Um, it's just amazing how they've real, this, this series has really reached into the culture and just, uh, you know, you're not, I think that there might've been a time where, you know, kids weren't seeing as many horror movies. And I think now it's like, they're, they're being brought up on it. So uh, I was raised on horror films. So I, I relate to that. Um, you talk about casting Bonnie Aarons, who plays the nun right over your shoulder is brilliant in this role. And I've always heard stories of, of other horror movie sets where the actor who plays the monster or the villain sort of keeps their distance from everyone else. The other actors did Bonnie stay away from everyone else on set. Like what was her relationship with the other actors? You know, we tried to make it, um, Whenever she was on set, we try to make it feel special. I think that that was one of the uh, the things that you know we have a couple different um, entities that that Valak takes, um, and uh, and the 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 nun proper being uh, being one of them, and uh, obviously played by Bonnie. So it was something that we we tried to limit how much she was uh, around the other actors, and it, it was something that we we had one scene with. Um, one of our younger boys that uh, we wanted to introduce him to her before and just kind of get a, a, a familiarity there. So it wasn't like, cause we didn't know exactly what we were going to expect. And um, that was uh, it's always a balance, you know, you want her to be scary and you know, the energy that she brings, I mean, she's an amazing actor. I mean, she's, you know, I think most people know her as, as uh, just as the nun, but she has an incredible filmography, like incredible horror history. And she gets the genre. She brings this incredible energy to set. And so you want to use it really in a targeted manner. You know, I've got to tell you, this film is beautifully shot. Like there are some gorgeous, some of the most gorgeous sort of singular frames uh, I've seen for out of the horror genre in a very long time. And I think people forget how beautiful of a genre horror can be. Some of my favorite movie shots of all time are from the horror genre. What are some of your most favorite some of those beautiful shots in the horror genre in your opinion i mean the big standout is seven um i don't even know i mean you can't really call that a, i mean it's there's horror elements to it but seven was something that you know i saw as a kid that really had a huge impact on me and I, what's great about that is even in the most when you like good chunk of that movie you're like looking at dead bodies and even in the most grotesque moments, they were so beautifully shot and beautifully lit. And, but I mean, also like, you know, with just grotesque, like, you know, makeup effects. Um, I think that there's something really appealing about that because, you know, you come to the movie to watch it. You're not like, you don't want to be like, just like, you know, looking at your lap or like looking away. So I think there needs to be that push pull of like these terrifying grotesque things, but 
making them look beautiful is like, you've got to be drawing people in. I think there's something just like very powerful about that. What is the shot in seven that stands out most to you? Um, gluttony. I think it's like the, the shots, all of the shots with gluttony are so, so effective. And in the morgue, um, it is, what's crazy about that is it's, um, it's so grotesque, but then also so beautiful um, where it's just this incredible balance. I mean, there's some, it's so easy for something like that for, for people to just check out. Like, and, and it's a careful balance with horror movies because sometimes like people do check out. They just are like, this is too intense. This is too gory. They, they, do, they do not have respect for me as an audience member. <laughs> They're just trying to like, you know, punish me. And so it's like, it's always that like that balance. And I think that, you know, drawing people in like that um you you bring up a good point one of the things i most love about seven is that the city itself which is a nondescript city that never say what it is kind of makes no sense because it's this very dark rainy metropolis and then the moment they drive outside of city limits it's this desolate bright yellow orange desert wasteland which i find fascinating and that shot of the the, the open box just the singular shot in the sand ah i love it um they're giving me the wrap they're trying to pull me out of here Man, I, I could talk with you all day. Horror is my favorite genre. So seriously, congratulations on this. Just, mwah, it's, I feel weird saying like, oh, it's a beautiful film, but you know what I mean when I say it. Like, no, just gorgeous shot. So seriously, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you so much. It was great talking to you. All right, you too, buddy. Take care. Well, we're going, we don't need roads.